Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we can learn about the unnamed namespaces or you know the anonymous namespaces in C++. So you know we have learned how to define a namespace. You know we need to use a keyword namespace and the namespace name for example 1 and then to curly braces and you know between these curly braces we were writing the variables or the functions or the classes. So here uh, unnamed or the anonymous namespace is a namespace without a name. So we're not gonna have any name here. You know we're just gonna have the namespace keyword and then the curly braces and between that curly braces we're gonna write the variables, functions or the classes. So here you know just to demonstrate that I'm gonna create a variable and let's call it as x. And then uh, I'm gonna create a function and let's call it as display and I just gonna use see out and we're gonna say x is and I'm gonna refer x and let's end this line alright now here we have a unnamed namespace and when we have a unnamed namespace we can refer the members defined inside this namespace you know without the help of the using keyword and also without using the scope resolution operator so here I can access this x just by using x and let's initialize this one to let's say 25. That's it. Now I can call this display function by writing display here. That's it. Now if I build and run this, okay we need to write the return type, <laughs> white display. Alright, build and run it, you know we get x is 25. So the next thing is we can define this unnamed namespace or the anonymous namespace as many times we want inside this file or you know this anonymous namespace is discontiguous in a file so here so for example you know I can do the function prototyping here you know the display and uh, I can define this namespace again here you know the anonymous namespace and I can define the body of this display function so it's going to be void display that's it. Now if I build and run this, you know, we're not gonna get any error. You know, we get x is 25. So, you know, this is about the anonymous namespaces or, you know, the unnamed namespace in C++. The next thing that I want you guys to teach you is, you know, when you use this anonymous namespace, you should be aware of certain things. So the first thing is, you know, this unnamed namespace or the anonymous namespace is discontiguous inside a file. but they does not span files so each file has its own unnamed namespace if two files contain unnamed namespace those namespaces are unrelated you know here you know we have defined this unnamed namespace twice and we can see that these namespaces are related because you know in this first declaration we have uh, we have declared the function and in the second uh, declaration you know we have defined our function but you know when we use multiple files and if we use the unnamed namespace at that time you know that namespaces in that multiple files are unrelated if a header defines an unnamed namespace the name in that namespace defines different entities local to each file that includes the header so you know we can say that unlike the other namespaces an unnamed namespace is local to a particular file and never spans multiple files. Alright the next thing is you know when you use this unnamed namespace names defined in it are in the same scope as the scope at which the namespace is defined. So if an unnamed namespace is defined in the outermost scope of the file, you know, then the names in that unnamed namespace must differ from the names defined at the global scope. Now which is nothing but if we define this unnamed namespace in the outermost scope, you know, as we have done here, you know, at that time the names that uh, we're gonna give to the variables or the functions or the classes in that global scope should not have the same name as the you know names defined in that unnamed namespace so this is it guys this is about some information on the unnamed namespaces in c++ thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial